Hello and welcome to Gardening at 58 North. Today I'm going to show you how to replant a pothos vine. So first of all this is my pothos vine here. It's about two years old and it's about four foot long. I'll show you it's quite a, a long one. I've got it hanging down in a on top of a wardrobe, uh, on top of a bookshelf at the moment so I like it quite uh, It's nice to hang down really long like that. Um, but there you are. You can see all four foot of it there. So basically it's got really long, it's got this tiny little pot supporting it, so it needs a new pot, new larger pot. So I'm putting it in this pot over here. And it's just a little bit bigger, you can see there. Slightly larger. So when you're repotting a pothos vine, you want to make sure you've got the right compost. Now, a pothos vine naturally comes from French... Uh, I think it's French Polynesia. It's the um, right down in the Southeast Asia in the tropics, and what it does is it grows up trees and actually grows as an, ep as an epiphyte. And you can see that from the roots that are that grow out of all the joints on the plant. So you see those roots there; they're really quite thick and fat, and they can actually stick to things. So they won't stick to stuff in your house because it's too dry. But if it was in the wild, they would work ways into, into cracks in the tree and they will start growing up the trees. So they like, where they grow in the wild, they're not really in the soil, they're either just on the surface of the soil in the leaf mold, um, and, and in, in with all the other dead material on the surface of the forest floor, or they're, or they're climbing up into the forest, um, up the trees, and if there's any little pockets in the branches of the trees, they'll nestle their roots in there, and um, just get a little bit of nutrients from there. So that's the idea why they have roots along the whole lot. There's not one place that, they, that they've rooted in the wild. In the wild, they've rooted in all over the place, wherever there's soil on top of the trees. So, um, because of that, they are a bit susceptible to water logging and uh, overwatering. So, you need a very free draining compost mix. So this is one I've made up. It's uh, just normal multi purpose compost, but with quite a lot of perlite added. I'd say it's probably about 20% perlite, I'm not sure. But that will help a lot with the drainage and help so that it doesn't get over, overly wa overwatered or waterlogged. So first of all, you want to put a little bit of compost in your pot, just enough to cover the bottom. Once you've done that, you want to get your other pot and you want to place it inside, just see if it's okay. So that's sitting fairly flush there. You want to check with the height of the compost, not the height of the pot. And you can see there, it's about the right height. So I'm now going to carefully take this out. Now it's going to be a little bit tricky for me because this is a very long plant and it's quite fragile so I don't want to snap the stem. But you just want to tip it over, give it a little tap, maybe a little shake, and you should be able to tease out the pot. This one's sticking a bit. If you've got a terracotta pot, you, what you might find is the plant actually sticks to the terracotta and clings on like, like it would in the wild. So this one has clung on a little bit, but you can see there it's got quite a few roots. It's a little bit pot bound, but not too bad. So I'm just going to place that there inside the pot. And that looks about the right height. You can see the roots there. The compost is about the same height as it was before. So now I'm just going to fill around with compost. Just passing it in as I go. Um, I'm going to leave the stem a little bit above ground because you don't really want the stem underground as it might rot off. And even if some of the roots aren't underground, it's not the end of the world because as I said, this is a plant which grows on trees out in the wild, so its roots are often exposed. But if you can, you want to cover up all the roots, make sure they're completely covered. So that's it almost done. Just work it around any gaps in the pot, especially around the edges where there might be a, it's quite thin and hard to get any in. Once you've got enough, what I often do is just give it a little shake and a little tap and that just settles down um, the remaining compost. You can see it's done that a little bit more there, so I'm just going to add a bit more compost to make that so that's completely covered the roots. And there we are. That's the pot that's going to be potted. And now you, what you'd want to do is give this a good watering in. And what that does is make sure that any air pockets in the, um, in the compost has been filled with compost because the water will wash any other compost into any other small pockets inside there. So that's how to repot a pothos vine. Um, if you've got any questions about this, please put it down in the comment section and I will hopefully be able to reply to you promptly. 
and if there's any questions that I can't resolve very well for, for another comment then I will do another video for you and show you that in more detail. Uh, thanks for watching.